another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to create a tilt shift technique like this one in here, uh, which makes an image look sort of like a miniature world. So uh, I'll get rid of my layer here. So this technique works best if you have an image taken from above. So to start, press Ctrl J and duplicate your background layer. Then on this layer one, go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and pick a fairly blurry setting, maybe around 50. Depending on the size of the image, this will vary, but something where you can't really recognize a whole lot anymore. And then create a layer mask. If you're not sure how they work, check out a tutorial on those. And then pick gradient over here. And then up here, pick this fourth one, where it goes from black to white to black. And then make sure your color here is the first one, black to white, a simple gradient, and then your colors uh, should be here black and white. If they're not the default black and white, you can just press the D button. That'll flip it to white and black, then you'll just have to press X, which flips it from to black and white. Alright, so we're ready to draw a gradient. Start where you want it to be sharp, which is this middle street here for me, and then I'm going to drag it along line, which is a smooth gradient, and now you can see that it is sharp here and then slowly fades into a blurry image up here and makes it look like a miniature world. The reason it looks like a miniature world is because in macro photography, when you're taking pictures of miniature things, uh, the depth of field is very small. So only what you focus on is in focus and then it gets very blurry in the background. And that's all you have to do. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.